Hey, Mike Swenson here with the Elite Advantage team, and we are talking about your schedule. So if you are new to real estate, following some sort of schedule is gonna be really important to you. You wanna tell your time what you're gonna do with it versus letting it consume you. There's a lot of things that you can get busy with, and you wanna focus on what are the best things to be busy with. And so that means planning out your time ahead of time. And if you're starting part-time and moving to full-time, it's even more important for you to make sure that you're telling your time what you wanna do with it because you just don't have as much time as somebody else that's full-time. So you've gotta make the best use of that time um, as much as you possibly can. So what I would suggest is um, we've, we've put together a plan for what our goals are. We have a plan for what our, our daily activities need to be. Now you're just figuring out how much time do I have in a given day or a given week to do that. And so you wanna block out that chunk. If it's gonna be, you know, I work my, my current job Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm gonna to commit to Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays doing real estate, do that and look at what that time looks like. Um, the most important thing that you can be doing, putting oxygen into your business, is lead generation and lead follow-up. So whether that's finding new people to tell them you're at a career in real estate, whether it's talking to your current database of people telling them, hey, I'm in real estate and I'm ready to help you, who do you might know that might need some of my services? Um, that's really what you're focusing on. And everything else, whether it's a, a business card design or a flyer design, or a closing gift, what kind of closing gift do I need? You don't have to worry about a closing gift right now until you have an appointment. So go focus on getting your appointments first. So you're really thinking about that sales funnel of conversations, appointments, um, and then from there you're getting contracts signed, whether it's a listing or a buyer representation agreement. Focus on that first. Don't worry too much about what's the best closing gift to have until you get to that point. So just kind of work your way down the funnel. Um, get out there, get busy, uh, churn up a lot of dust. It's better to create a little bit of chaos at the beginning by having a lot of conversations with a lot of people because you can always go back and 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 get more uh, leverage around those other pieces. But what you can do is you want to make sure when you pour pour the water in the top of the funnel, enough's coming out of the bottom. If you just pour a couple drips in the top, there's not going to be much coming out of the bottom. So really focus on getting out there and getting active. Um, and so make sure you're planning time on your schedule to do that first. And then if you have other time, you can devote that to the other things. But, but make sure that that lead generation, lead follow-up is really a key part of your schedule. And if, you, like I said, if you're a part-timer, making sure that that's high priority because you have to spend time churning up dust for you to have those closings that you want to have in the future. And if you want to transition from part-time to full-time. Um, so really make sure that you've got that schedule tight. And then the second thing is it's one thing to have a great plan of a schedule, and the next best thing is actually following that schedule. So make sure you follow the schedule you create for yourself and get buy-in from your loved ones, whether it's kids or spouse or significant other or um, good friends. Just have them help, you hold, help hold you accountable um, to the time that you're spending to this so you can give it a good run and make sure that you're doing enough of the activity that you need so that you can hit your goals that you want to have. So hopefully that was some good advice around scheduling. If you have any questions or you want more information on what that looks like, um, we'd be happy to walk that walk through that with you and give you some, some advice and perspective based on our years working with hundreds of agents and lots of teams. Um, I'd be happy to help you out with those questions. So thanks so much and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, wait. If you want to watch another one of our videos about buying, selling, or investing in real estate or resources for our agents, click here. If you want to subscribe to our channel, click here. Thanks.